Today I will guide you how to set up this uh, large Rubik safe. Um, this safe, usually when you buy the safe, uh, this pouch is hanging here. Uh, this pouch have emergency key, operation key, some locking bolts and the help manual. So uh, let's see how to set it up for the first time. It is very easy to operate. Uh, usually there are two set of keys uh, with the safe. It is very important to keep the emergency key safe at some other place not inside the safe because if someday the batteries are not working you need this emergency key and this is uh, the set which you need every day so one key is usually required to you can keep as a backup or with somebody else if you want if you want share it but it is required for the everyday operation so uh, i will add one point this is the card you can see and this way you will insert it this is the emergency key when you receive the safe for the first time when you buy it usually there is no pin code all right because there are no batteries added you have to add the batteries first and then you can start using the safe so for the first time i have to unlock so i will open this secret compartment just with the nail you can open it here make sure locks are here so no need to uh, open it from the middle okay and after that you have to insert the key you can see these uh, sign okay keys are unique there are no duplicate keys ever made of these numbers that means if you lost the key you wouldn't be able to open the safe in case of emergency so this key is very important all right of course this key is also equally important but thing is uh, usually you may keep it somewhere uh, for the emergency use so insert the key push it and turn to the left all right push it turn to left and with the other hand you can open the safe for the first time so do not try to remove this corner cushion as written here unless you open the door all right and it is here written that do not keep the safe keys inside and here it is written use the alkaline batteries only so the batteries usually comes with the safe are not alkaline those are test run batteries only and um, uh, you can use it for the test purpose but when you start using the safe make sure you buy brand new alkaline batteries and make sure you buy any good brand which is written 10 years power lock on the packaging of the batteries so once you open the safe box you can open the battery compartment here add the batteries i have already added the three batteries i will add last set of the battery i will fix it later because i just want to demonstrate you it will turn on after it is on now you can set up the password all right so what you have to do is inside behind the battery uh, compartment there is a red button here okay here red button you just press it once after it is uh, idle now you can enter the new code any code you want example and that's it now your password is one two three four i will show you now this battery uh, this uh, key this is emergency key we don't need any more we can keep it somewhere safe and if you if i want to use the safe I will press start to turn on the LED. One, two, three, four. Start to confirm. At the same time, I use the key to open. Okay. This is the way to lock it. If I want to open without the key, you cannot open. You must need to use this key. Example start. One, two, three, four. Start. Magnetic lock is open, but because I don't have the key, I cannot open. So that's why it, it is called dual lock. Okay, one, two, three, four, start. Now I can open. If I want to change the password, again I will press red button. Okay, and again I will enter the new code, press start, and finish. The other things to discuss about the safe is. This shelf is removable. You can remove the shelf okay but you have to remove it carefully all right this match you can change but the important thing to learn is there are holes 
all over the safe behind and bottom so you can fix it on the floor okay using the bolts or you can fix it on the wall or in the cabinet okay these are the standard bolts provided with the safe but you can use the bolts required according to the surface where you want to fix it you you may have some surface where some different kind of bolts are required you will have to arrange it but usually these are the standard bolts coming with the safe box all right and second important thing is you can close it like that all right and uh, important thing to know is the keys these are everyday operation key alone this key will not work example it will always work in combination with the pin code that's all thank you